Good evening and welcome to Ely Cathedral. It was here 45 years ago that I had the honor and privilege and excitement of directing a film of Leonard Bernstein conducting Mahler's Symphony No. 2, commonly known as the Resurrection. Now, what was an American Jew doing here in a great Anglican cathedral? Well, uh, Bernstein had studied aesthetics as part of his university course at Harvard um, 30 years earlier, and he always wanted to do a work here in this marvelous, uh, very fine architecture. Uh, and he had been hired by a, a German company called Unitel to make a cycle of all nine Mahler symphonies. Most of them turned out to be directed with the Vienna Philharmonic Orchestra, and they were shot in Vienna and in Berlin. But for Mahler II, which has this special religious quality, this special sense of uh, dedication, uh, he, he, he wanted to come here. And being Leonard Bernstein, uh, his word was our command. Uh, and he arranged for it to be, first of all, performed up in Edinburgh at the Edinburgh Festival. We're talking about the end of August 1973. And then the entire force that had done the Resurrection Symphony in Edinburgh came down to Ely. It was quite a complicated logistical experience, I can tell you. I was directing all the symphonies for this company, and we'd already done uh, one in Berlin and three in Vienna. But this was far away the most common. This was not a place that was used to having symphony orchestras of the hundred players, because it's a very large orchestra, and there's a marvelous off-stage brass orchestra, which you'll hear in the final movement. And then the choir was 150, and by the, choir, by the way, the choir, the Edinburgh Festival Chorus, learnt their words so that they sing without music notes, which is so wonderful, because there's such concentration. It's a long symphony, it's nearly 90 minutes long, but the time flashes by, uh, particularly in the last movement, when it's in fact, uh, I think it should be called the Apocalypse Symphony, where, because Mahler actually describes the last day of judgment, and you hear the call of the last day of judgment ringing round these octagon tower up here. And I tried my best as a director to find a way to uh, give a visual sense to this marvelously powerful music. So Mahler's second symphony has five movements, as you'll find out from your wonderful program notes, and I think you'll find that it's one of the most interesting, well, but interesting is too flabby word. You'll find it's one of the most powerful experiences of watching an orchestra that you'll ever have. The LSO played like demons, and they were, of course, egged on by the fantastic uh, uh, magnetism of Leonard Bernstein. And he'd chosen his cast wonderfully. I mentioned the chorus already, it's so devoted. They travel all the way down to Edinburgh by night train in order to work here. So there's the Edinburgh cast, uh, the Edinburgh Festival Chorus, and then two wonderful soloists, Janet Baker and Sheila Armstrong, both at the top of their game. So that the whole experience, although it's long, but then all Mahler symphonies are long, and this one is so rewarding, so powerful. I can only say I wish I was with you to watch it once again. It was one of the great uh, honors and excitements in my life to have been the director of this performance of one of the top symphonies ever composed by anybody. So, ladies and gentlemen, in Belfast, I wish you a very, very powerful evening. Thank you.